Hi, Stampers. Happy Friday and happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are all having a fabulous day. And that you all have love. Love, love, love. All right. So I've got a cute card today. And I'm going to go ahead and get my phone mounted so we can get at it. just get set up here Okay, there's a little bit of glare on there. <clears throat> I think we're good. So the set I'm playing with today is this super cute Happy Tails um, dog set and coordinating punch. It's got some really cute sentiments and then the dog and you can make him a Dalmatian or you can put spots on him or you can just leave him the way he is and color him however you want. It is a photo polymer stamp set. And for any of the supplies that I am using, you can shop at my website, and that is the address for you. And if you have any questions that, um, if you don't want to put them, post up on here or whatever, just private message me and I will do my best to answer for you. And let's get started bring in all my parts and pieces and there's a couple of guys that I follow who are um, they're stamping up demonstrators and you know how when you score you know on one side it kind of makes that bump up and then on the other side is the indent and I always do the indent to be on the outside and I think that's what they did also but what and I love I mean I enjoy what they make, but I also enjoy just listening to their accents. And he called this bumped out part um, the knobbly bit. The knobbly bit. And that just cracked me up. So I put my knobbly bit inside. I love that. And... So other things I'm using today besides that stamp set, and I went ahead and did some of this work ahead of time so it wouldn't take so long, is you can see there, I have, um, first I cut this out with the rectangle stitch dies, and um, there are 13 various sizes in the set. So I, I did that first. And then I ran it through the embossing folder. And then I'm also going to be using the stitched shapes uh, dies. And there are circles, squares, and ovals all in the one set. So I want to get that out of the way. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to use soft suede and a... Um, sponge brayer 
and I'm just going to roll over this embossing folder to kind of pick up the detail in the wood and I'm just going to turn it different ways so that it's kind of got some darker spots and lighter spots like natural wood would have. But I just want to make sure I get ink in all the different places. And you'll just be able to see the grain a little bit better in the detail of that embossing folder. So there you go. Let's see, I guess I can leave that open. The next thing I'm going to do is I have a piece of the um, designer series paper. This is from the 6x6 Brights collection. So you'll find that catalog and it comes in all the different color um, combination regals neutrals and the in colors and anyway that gingham is from there and I'm just going to go ahead and attach that Okay. And let's see. Oh, I wanted to mention that I found my inspiration from this card came from Pinterest. There was a gal who made pretty much the same card. Not identical, but pretty close. And I just thought it was so cute. There's a little bit hanging off the edge there, so I'm going to trim that off. Otherwise, it will bug me. There we go. Now, something else I'm going to use is the heart punch that's in the new mini catalog and this comes in i believe it's a set of the two punches you get the straight edge and the scalloped edge and i'm using the straight edge and another piece of very vanilla cardstock and i'm just going to i don't even need the whole heart really so i'm just going to do that And that and then I've got a little chunk there I can put back in my scraps and this is going to turn out looking like a dog bone I just thought that was so cute and clever and I've got a piece of sponge here and I'm just going to um, lightly sponge around the edges with that soft suede just because most dog bones aren't completely looking pristine right Anybody have some fun plans happening for Valentine's today? We usually have our little date night on Fridays, so this will be extra fun with it being Valentine's. Okay. That is going to go on there, but before I do all that, I think I will set that aside and bring back in my card base. And I just want to give that a little bit of a 
score there. And I need the little dog paw out of here. This set has the doghouse in it too. I think it's so cute and a bone and it's just a cute set. All right. So I'm going to create my own background on the card here. So I'm just gonna do some random stamping. And hopefully I won't make any boo-boos. You wanna go off the edges here and there. And as much as I didn't want to make boo-boos, there I go doing it already. Let me get right over the top of this if I can. And I need to just bring in... Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining me and happy Valentine's Day. Got a little carried away there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, trying not to just go silent here, <laughs> but I'm concentrating on trying not to mess up. Oh, darn it. Let me fix that. That's the one nice thing about clear stamps. You can go right over the top and usually fix it. I just got this set, Donna, and the cat one, too. I was seeing so many cute things. And uh, so finally I thought, okay, that's it, I'm getting it. Okay, I'm almost there. Don't mess up, Jana. All right, I'm gonna call that good. Cleaning off my stamp, and I will put it away so I don't lose it because it's kind of little. There we go. And while I'm at it, I may as well get the dog out. That aside, and close. And bring in my stamparatus. And here is a scrap of 
Make sure I've got all the ink off my fingers. Okay. There we go. And I am going to ink, I'm gonna make this a Dalmatian. So I'm gonna ink him up with Memento Black. Such a fun set. Because there's so many different cards you can um, use this set for. Almost anything. Okay, now I need his spots. is the trick. That looks pretty good. Oops. Well, I'm probably going to have to do that again. Okay, I think I'm okay. Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, did I make him a Dalmatian? I did! Woohoo! So cute! Okay, now I'm going to give him a little collar because there's a collar in this set. Love it. You know, you don't have to go with traditional colors. You could have made, for Valentine's Day, you could make this a red spotted dog. That would be cute. Okay, here's the collar up here. And I'm going to stamp that in the Pretty Peacock because that is the um, color of that designer paper, the gingham that I'm using. So he's going to have a matching collar. Cute. Okay, now I can punch and you guys Okay, I'm going to tell on myself. So on my sample that I made, I forgot I had the punch. <laughs> and I fussy cut him out. And then it was like, oh my word. What a goober I am. And I'm going to put a sticky note on there because my little scrap piece doesn't have quite a long enough handle. This punch also cuts out a cute little heart there. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I got done and, and it was like, oh my word. 
What's the point of having a punch if you're not gonna use it? Silly girl. All right. Hi, Janice. Happy Valentine's Day. And I will set that little heart aside so I can save it. So there he is, all punched out and cute. Woof! All right. So here is my card again. Um, do I want to do that part yet? I want the background piece. Let's bring that back in. Okay, so there's the two hearts that I punched out that's going to be a bone. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm just going to put some glue on. And like I said earlier, I saw this on Pinterest, so this was not my idea. But I'm casing it. So thank you to the gal who did come up with this idea because I just think it's so cute. And I should have written her name down, but I did not. Okay, now with that um, set of the Stitched Shapes Framelits, I cut out two circles. Um, this one is in the Pretty Peacock, and this one is, um, hang on, it is the Pool Party. So Pool Party and Pretty Peacock. And this one, I am going to just put some adhesive on here. Oops. And this one, I want the Just For You. Let me get a block. There we go. Hi, Seal. Happy Valentine's Day. And then I want, there's two little hearts. There's a solid heart and there's like a little outline heart. And I'm going to use the outline one. And that's it for the stamping, so I can close up my ink pad here. And I 
think I will go ahead and attach this. You always want to be a little bit careful when you're applying your adhesive to um, embossed images because sometimes it wants to pull that paper up. Okay, this is just going to go in the middle here. Best as I can. And now I'm going to glue my spotted dog. He should have a name. Oops. The guys are here putting on our little fencing around our new patio. And so they just got back. I can hear them out there. They just got back from lunch. So Todd's going to have a fit for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of that. And then I've still got some embellishing to do here. Our Lacey, our little Doxy, she went in and had her teeth done on Tuesday and I had a dentist cleaning on Tuesday and that went well for both of us and then Todd I took him in Wednesday this is the first time he's had his nails clipped we tried to take him when we went out of town well we took him but we tried to take him to Petco and I didn't think to take his vaccination record, and so we had no proof of his rabies shot, so they wouldn't trim his nails. So we've just switched veterinary offices, and so I called them and got an appointment and took him in Wednesday, and they clipped his nails, and they did it for only twelve fifty. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I think they do ten or my sister said 10 if they just clip them and 15 if you have them clipped and then filed at Petco. So I figured that uh, $12.50 was a good deal and then we don't have to worry about taking them out of town to have that done. Now really, I not too much of that shows back there you can slide it in and when i show you my um the first one i made you'll see that that i did that on the first one so a little more of that designer pa paper showed and so these are embellishments that were out of the ho holiday catalog they may still be available um, they are called the Monster Bash Enamel Shapes. There's crows on there, which you could use any time of year on a card. And those would be super cute, like on a, a card with corn and stuff like that. That would be adorable. And I was going to see if the ordering number's on here. Well, just if you wanted these, just search for Monster Bash and if they are still available, it will pop up. But I wanted these little black dots is what I wanted. The other thing you can do is with, if you have alcohol markers, you can color any of the clear things, even the um, like little sparkly diamond looking ones. You can color them any color you want with your alcohol markers. But I just wanted black dots to go with his black spots. And oh, one more thing. 
I got to sparkle those hearts up with some Wink of Stella. And then I have one more little thing for the inside. Now I know it's making those hearts appear darker, but when it dries, I think they it just they dry back to the original color of the card. Okay, I have a little strip of that same paper and I'm gonna put that on the inside here. There we go. Thank you, Donna. Now, let me show you the first one I made because it's totally different colors. So I did real red um, out of that pack, and I would have done this one probably the same, but I didn't have enough to do it with. Um, because red's my favorite color, so I tend to go to that a lot. And then I decided to give it that other pop of color with the yellow back there behind it. And as you can see, I don't have as much of the bone showing as I do there. Um, I kind of like more of the bone showing because then it looks more like a bone. Um, but this one, you know, would be cute for a boy or a guy or whatever. However, this one's going to a, a boy. So, and I just happen to have a stamp. It's, it's not stamping up, but it says cute. And this one I probably won't stamp until the occasion comes that I want it for. So I can put whatever I want inside. Thanks, Janice. But I thought using the heart punch to make a bone with clever. So that is my card for today, and I think that's all I have. Make sure that you check out all the celebration stuff that's going on, and now there's uh, the coordinated um, items that go with some of the things in the mini catalog and the um, celebration items. So check those out. You can just go to celebration um, online here and find all of that information. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day today and weekend coming up, and I will see you again next Friday. Happy stamping! Bye-bye!